so Jeff. Thank you, Jeff. It was so Jeff that this is what he looked like in 1974. Aww. Okay? I was trying to play Twister. Not much has really changed. Okay? I am still trying to have some fun. I am still trying to keep my ass off the mat. And hold up multiple things. Who's with me on that one? Yeah, okay, so our butts will hopefully be off the mat today. And I'm going to invite you to do a few things. Part of my role at the university is I get to do sessions like this for faculty and staff. And one of the initiatives that the university has launched into this year is the Strengths Finder or the Strengths Quest. And we're using that. I'm going to share that with you um, through a number of ways. But again, you want to make sure that you've got your own results. And I've given you a handout, kind of like a little bit of a workbook in place. How else do you think this workshop will unfold based on what I'm bringing today? High energy. High energy. Which one does that come out of? Okay, perhaps, yep. What else? How else will it show up? You're like, nope, I'm just scratching my head. What was this? Yeah. How, how will adaptability show up, do you think? In the high energy form. Okay, in the high energy form. So here's how adaptability might also show up. I wanted to be really clear with you about what the three aims were. Right? Do you remember those? Create some awareness, share some things about what's going on at the university, and create action. The way in which this will unfold might kind of go like this. But we'll hit here at the very end. We will hit here. Now, some of you that have something maybe a little opposite of adaptability in your top five, I will drive you crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I will try. I, I will try to recognize the tipping point. Okay? <laughs> because there's a fine line between strength and crazy. <laughs> strength and derailer. Really. Career derailer. Think about if I showed up in your staff meetings or in your work teams and my adaptability was crazy, out of control. How would that show up? I would what? You monopolize a conversation. <laughs> You've been in a meeting with me. I would monopolize a conversation. I would never stick to a plan. I would probably not even get at those three aims. When we talk, it never seems logical, concrete, not even sequential. So that's why you will notice in my slides, I have put up a little icon of what page in the handout we're on. Thank you. So sometimes I will forget. <laughs> and I wanted to make sure, I cannot guarantee it's always going to be in order, but you will know what page we're on. And so part of that is this is our starting point. Your top five is the starting point. It's how you see and interact with the world. From a strength-based approach to maybe career derailers. So there's that fine line, and we're going to talk about healthy and productive ways to kind of harness our strengths. So the thing I want you to be able to do is right on page one, see, this is the icon. What's, what's my friend's name right here who needs sequential? Cassandra. Hi, Cassandra. Hi. Make sure, can you see this? I can. Okay, good. So you'll want to make sure you can see that at all times. So right on page one, in that area that's a circle that's hugging you right in the middle, I want you to write down the ingredients for when you were at your best. When have you got to experience a work moment, a work moment that you were at your best? What was going on? What did you get to do?